The reporting tool, Query and Analysis, formerly known as Vision, allows account staff to easily create and update reports in real time at the click of a button, directly from Sun Systems accounting software. Q&A also allows you to send data into the accounting system straight from Excel with full validation. The tool facilitates the creation of many standard reports, examples of which include profit and loss, balance sheet, tax returns, listing reports, FSA reports, SOFA, cash flow, and management reports. Security restrictions created in Sun Systems can be mapped to restrict user access to data. Q&A can also be used to extract reference data, such as charts of accounts, descriptions, client addresses, etc., to enhance financial reports. Q&A comes with two tools, an Excel add-in and its own standalone application called Executive. Using the Excel add-in, we can create all manner of reports. So for example, a profit and loss account, balance sheet, a consolidated P&L account and a debtors inquiry. But of course we can do much more complex and structured reports. So for example, my VAT 100 return and my FSA return. Now the beauty of all these reports is each financial value is extracted via a formula pulling information directly from Sun Systems. Every time I want to refresh the report, all I need to do is recalculate and I get updated values. So let's see how to create a report from scratch. Let's say, for example, I want to extract transactions from a single business unit for a single account for a range of periods. I can define the parameters within the report writer itself, or I can add them into the Excel sheet. That way, making them a variable that I can change if I need to. So my business unit for this is going to be business unit MAT. My account is going to be 11,000, and my period will be period one of 2018. Put myself in the cell that I want my report to begin in and then I start to write my report. Because this is going to be transactions in detail, I go to the Q&A ribbon and choose a detail report and it brings up the report writer for me. Then it's just a case of specifying the criteria that I need. So for my business unit I'm going to refer to the cell that contains business unit and you can see that it's linked there to me to cell A1. For my table I just need to choose the table that contains the correct information. All financial information is in LA Ledger. Once I've chosen my table, it gives me the mandatory filter items for this particular table. So starting off with account code, again for this I'm going to link through to the cell that contains account code, and for my period, through to the cell that contains period. Then it's simply a case of choosing the information from the selection list that I want to output in my transactional report. So I will have the account code included in the report. I want to have the transaction date, the journal number, the journal type, and the transaction reference. I want the accounting period. I want my transaction amount, and I also want the currency code, so I can see what currency that transaction was in. I will also include the base currency, which in my company is GBP. And then finally, I will choose a couple of my analysis codes, so I'll include product code and cost center. Finally, I've got some report style options. I have a number of different preset formats. I'll choose accounting two. And on my options, this is how I can save the report to reuse it. So I'm just going to give this a suitable name. When I click OK, I get all the transactions from that account. So this is a report that I can reuse time and time again, and I can change the parameters very easily. So for example, if I actually wanted to extract from account 12,000, just change that parameter and I'm going to recalculate my worksheet. It's now updated and I have got different transactions from the account 12,000. In order to keep this as a reusable report, all I do is save my spreadsheet as I would any Excel report. So that's how we build a detailed transaction listing. In order to build a summary type report, very, very similar. If I take a look at my profit and loss account, then each of these cells is a summarized value being pulled from some systems. You can see there the formula for each one. If I double click on the formula, you can see how the report is written. This time it's a summary link. I'm referring to the various cells for the parameters. 
and my account codes for each cell are over off to the right in column Y. The nice thing about having a value in a single cell, as in this report, is if I want to analyze the data within here, all I need to do is go to transactions, go into a transactional drill, choose the fields that I want to see in my transactional drill, click OK. I now see all the transactions that make up that 13,000. If anything in there needs further investigation, I'll go for this last transaction here. I can go down into a specialized drill down, go into journal drill down, and this will open up a new window with all the transactions from the original journal that that line was on. Q&A Excel also has a facility to send data from the Excel spreadsheet into Sun Systems. This could be reference data such as chart of accounts, customer addresses and the like, and also financial journals. Here on screen I've got a journal for a sales invoice. I have to include certain mandatory fields of course such as the database, the journal type, and details about the date, the period, the account codes. But really I'm just constructing a journal within an Excel sheet. There is not a specific layout. You can design your template however you wish and then the fields are mapped in to Q&A using a wizard. Then once my journal is constructed, all I need to do is hit a button to send it into Sun. Once completed, the spreadsheet returns to me the journal number and other posting details so that I can see that the journal is fully posted. We can also have a review stage so that the journal is validated before it posts finally into Sun. Your template can then of course be reused, which is very handy for recurring journals and any data that comes in via a file. Now looking into analysis and drill down a little deeper, I'm going to use the other Q&A tool which is Executive. This sits alongside Q&A Excel. You can create all the same reports in here as you would do in Excel, but it has more enhanced drill down features. For example, if I take this top level profit and loss account, which is showing me the position of my company but not in any great detail. I know for example my revenue here on this top line is made up of a number of income streams. I can expand this line down to revenue type and that will now show me that my gross revenue is made up of maintenance, product sales and services. And please note because I post my budgets at that level I can see where my variances are coming from on those income streams. If I need to go into one of these lines a little further, for instance the product sales, I might want to analyze this and I'm going to analyze it in this example by my product type and I can see there where I've got some large variances and exactly where they're coming from. If I do want to go further down into this, like for example I want to drill down on the application servers, I can go down to a journal drill and now I can see all the transactions that make up that particular value. Every time I do a drill by the way it's recorded in the drill tree. The drill trees can be saved and reutilized every time you run the report. So if you always do the same levels of analysis there's no need to point and click. The report will be refreshed with all of your drills even if the underlying data has changed because perhaps you're running it for a different period. Back to my top level report. Of course I can analyze any number I wish. I can predefine drills or I can create them on the fly just by specifying and choosing the levels that I want to drill down to. In this example I'll go down to cost center and now I can see that analyzed by cost center. I can also take a whole report and I can replicate it for whatever elements I choose. So if I consider that this is a consolidated report of all my cost centers, I can break that report out by cost center and it will replicate for me and create the report for each cost center. So I've got one for corporate sales, one for enterprise sales, general sales and so forth. If you've posted to that cost center in the specified period, then the system has to produce a report for it. You don't have to go in and amend any parameters. It will automatically create it. So with executive you are looking at true top-down reporting.
For more information and to arrange a demonstration, contact Financis today.